Hello everyone, my name is Molly. And I'm Julie. And Julie and I are here to do a very fun, informative, and I guess exciting introductory to our Zentangle Translucent Z tiles. Yes, so we're so excited to share these all with you. And I think this is the first time we release a new surface and we're kind of giving you this little instructional to go with it. Exactly. Well, we thought that it was it was so different and the way that the materials react on it is different and that we wanted to be able to give you some, I guess, some tips on how to kind of approach these tiles. And if you haven't already done our project pack number 18, which really fully dives into these tiles, then this will hopefully give you a little bit of background to start your journey with them and have some fun with them and maybe decide if it's something you want to go with. So as we said, we um, launched our translucency tiles in project pack number 18, which is a really great way to learn the new surface and explore them. But if you didn't do project pack number 18, welcome. And we are super excited to share a little bit about these with you. Translucency tiles are, are a vellum-like surface, I would say, that are Partial, partially translucent, yes. which is very, very cool. So if you were to um, put them up to the light or even kind of put, as you can see, you can kind of almost see the pens through them here. You can really see uh, quite, quite good through them. I actually even have a, um, a 3Z tile right here. And if you put the tile over it, you can almost see right through it, which is very cool and might already be like triggering some ideas in your head to see like, what can I do with these and layer and have some fun with them. So, And the possibilities are endless. endless. And you're all probably going to come up with things that we haven't even thought of. I hope so. I, yeah. yeah. I mean, you always do, which is really exciting. So this is a, you want to tell them a little bit about the paper? So yeah, they um, it's a nat naturally translucent vellum paper. And what is kind of cool about it is that it it's naturally translucent, so there's no chemicals used to make it that way. Cool. And it is also recyclable, biodegradable, and it is an acid-free paper, which yeah. I know is important to a lot of people when they're, you know, work creating their art. Yeah, it's very cool. And this paper is quite thick. We have explored um, folding with it, and even though we've had good results, the manufacturer said that there might be, you know, that folding might be hard with this paper. We did some cool folds. It looked okay, so... Yeah. We told Maria it's not for folding, and she was like, okay, let me fold it. Exactly. So I guess at this point we're going to say fold at your own risk. Fold you know? at your yeah. own risk. <laughs> um, you know, we are not responsible for if any you folding. always wanted to be somebody that was on the edge, this is really a great opportunity for you to be like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> but anyway, this really is an exploratory surface, and Julie and I have been having a blast with it. Uh, Martha and my mom and Rick and all of us on our tangling team here have really just been having so much fun and also like it's been so hard because we haven't been able to share what we're doing so it's if fun. we've been quiet on the mosaic app lately it's because we couldn't tell you what I we were know. tangling so i'm pumped to start sharing some cool things with you all and also see what all of you are doing with these tiles many many years ago i took a class with a good friend of mine and she did a lamp class where we just took some black ink and um, tangled on some vellum. And I actually just loved it. And I had always sought, sat with me for a while to be like, okay, well, what can I do with this later on? And so it's finally come to the surface here and we're having fun with it. And we thought we would go over a couple of, we have a couple of tools here uh, <laughs> yeah. that we pulled out of our, our pencil cases to sort of give you some tips on what's going on with um, these tiles. So I'm gonna take a, a blank tile here and I'm gonna start with the basics. So we have Mike Black microns, right? That's what most of us tangle with. And I have a really bold tip one here that you can see puts a nice, awesome inky pigment line down on them. And then I have the trusty O1, which puts down a really fine line. So this is, again, the micron, the black micron. And I find I, I like the way this pen works on here because it's very black. We did do a couple of kind of sample tiles using the microperm. Julie, what makes the microperm different than the micron? So the ink in the micro 
perm is actually more suitable for kind of a non-porous surface. Whereas like if you try to draw on like a plastic with a micron, you might not get the best results, but a micro perm would give you um, better results. It's the same ink in their identity pen. Oh, okay. Good to know. So it's a lot of people consider a permanent ink, but it all depends on what surface you're drawing yeah. on in that case. I also found that the micro perm flowed really nice on the surface of this, of this tile. However, I noticed that the ink wasn't as black. And yes. so I like a nice black ink. And so I kept on reaching for the micron. But with the micron. It's not that Pigma ink right. that we know and love with the micron pens, um, that special, special ink is not in the micro perm. So that's why it's not as black. Right. So one thing I did notice, though, with the micron, the black micron, is that it would sometimes skip a little bit. And if you get that skipping, um, what we're recommending is to take a piece of copy paper or just a scrap piece of paper, regular paper, and kind of clean the pen off by just doing a little squiggle. Our, hesit our, uh, our tendency is to press harder when our pens start to skip, and I want to make sure that we don't do that because you can break your nib and then the pen really won't work. <laughs> yes. These O1s, they have delicate nibs, and if you press too hard, they will bend, and once it's bent, that's pretty much it for that pen. So right. Always be mindful of that, whether you're working on these tiles or any, any surface, but like Molly said, the tendency when your pen starts to skip is to press harder and that um, will be counterproductive. We also did some playing around with other colors. So of the microns, they make a lot of different colors and um, a lot of them are so beautiful. So this nice light green comes out beautifully. Um, I have a, a pink one right here. And Molly's using this pink one is a PN. So it has a plastic nib. Um, which is a little bit more durable than the Micron 01 nib, but it's the same ink. And I actually love the PN on these tiles. I think it's been my favorite so far. Yeah, and it flows nicely. This is a little bit fatter. This is an 05 green, different color green. So all we had a really good luck with all the, the whole Micron line, which was really exciting. And as we said, with the blacks, it was only the black that would skip a little bit. If you get the skipping, just kind of clean it off on a scrap piece of paper and carry on in your way. The micro perm, we had no issues with. That really yeah. flowed nicely. Didn't seem to be need to be cleaned, but the, the blackness wasn't quite as black. Yeah, so it it's really vivid. Yeah, up to you guys what you prefer. I also found sometimes with the, especially the O1, the finer nib, is that like if I just changed the way I was like holding my pen a little bit, it it started to go again. Right. So, And off, as a rule of thumb, if you get skipping, a lot of times it's the paper, not the pen. And so getting like a piece of like copy paper or something that's un, that doesn't have any, you know, that's just like plain paper and cleaning your pen off really can help get it going again. So whenever I'm doing like exploratory stuff and I use a lot of graphites and pencils and stuff, my I notice my mic and I go back in with the micron, it can get kind of gucked up and I'll just clean it by drawing on another piece of paper without pencil and stuff yeah. like that. That can happen too once you start working in different layers and you're putting pen on different pens or pencil or graphite or whatever. It does, it can get clogged up. But yeah. We carry on, right? Yes. <laughs> so some other pens that we did a lot of exploring with was um, all of the Jelly Roll lines. So we have a couple different um, pens from the Jelly Roll line. In the project pack, we played around with this one Jelly Roll that's called a... Silver Shadow. Oh, thank you, Julie. I don't know why I can't remember <laughs> that. And the Silver Shadow is really different and very inky and kind of does this interesting thing where the, what did you call it? Dye stuff? Dye stuff. So it has the colored part of the pen is made up of dye stuff and it it meant it spreads out when you draw it. So it is really inky and you'll see it kind of go out on your tile. But then the pen also has metallic powder in it that is really thick and just sits on top of the paper. So you get this, if you're using the silver shadow, like silver writing within the color kind of spreading out around it. 
which is really fun to work with. It's beautiful. It has a different look. It's not necessarily great for fine detailed work, but it has a fun sort of like artsy and obviously metallic look to it. So, And it was a lot of fun on these tiles too, because you had, you know, that real shimmery look on one side and then you turned it over and it was just the color. Yeah. Very fun. So that's the silver shadow. The regular jelly roll lines also are super beautiful. Um, we have the the moonlight and any of the other colors that they offer and those seem to just have like such a nice flow again if you find yourself kind of the pen skipping just run it over the the regular paper for a minute to clean it off and on many different surfaces the jelly rolls just need to like warm up a little bit yeah. they always need kind of get them yeah get them going, going once yeah. they're going they're great this is the gray line. It's just a little bit newer. So those are kind of fun to get like a cool tonality going. That was a finer one. So all the jelly rolls are, the color jelly rolls are really fun to work with. One pen that's like one you tend to use a lot is the white jelly roll. That's the one we found to be like probably the most problematic. Yeah. But we fought through it because we yeah. just enjoyed it so much. <laughs> we just found a way to work with it. And it really does add a lot to the tiles. But you'll find that tangling with the white jelly roll is not doesn't always yield the best results. But it's great for adding accents, making dots, mm -hmm. adding highlights and things like that. Inking in an area. And again, just have that piece of paper nearby to kind of do a little cleaning off of the nib and get it rolling again. We do use this quite a bit in the project pack if you want to view any of those um, just to get an idea of how we're using them and maybe kind of like inspire some ideas and stuff. But it's kind of a must have with these tiles to me. I think it was yeah. like so great, but I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. There were times where I'm like, oh, I got a little skip here or whatever. So yeah. you had to be aware of that. And then one pen that Julie was playing around with that I thought was so fun were these... Um, the souffle line from yeah. Sakura, and do you have that sample tile? Because I, I wanted do. to show one that's dry. And so this is a 3D ink, and you put it on, and it dries like an opaque pastel colors they come in. But it is if you rub your finger over it, it is um, three dimensional, so it's really cool. And then they also have their glaze line, which we've used glaze in the project pack before as a resist, which we did down here and you can see some of the shading that Molly did which is like it's actually really cool on the clear tiles because the light comes through yeah so it really just adds a shimmer and then when you try to put the pastel pencil over you get that little like almost batik look which I am just excited to see like what other things we can do with that so again that's the um the jelly roll glaze, glaze pen. that's the clear one and then the um, opaque colors they come in a few different pastel colors. That is the souffle. And those are really fun 3D inks from Sakura. And then this one down here is, um, is just their Jelly Roll Gold. And they have a whole line of metallic pens. And they have like a maroon and a couple other Silver metallic. Silver. But we, we love the gold here. We've always used it in lots of different projects. And it was fun on these tiles. The souffle was really unexpected for yeah. me, and that one's really fun. I think we could do some real poppy kind of playful tiles yeah, with that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to exploring that right, more for, for sure. sure. Just a couple of tiles here that we've done in the background, just doing some exploring, mixing with the different microns, including in some of the, the Jelly Roll metallic pens. Again, playing around with how that white Jelly Roll creates a really cool effect. It's subtle, but it's just so effective playing around with those dots again look at those dots so fun that's a neat one right i mean the dots are so fun to shade and play around with this is a cool tile playing with both sides like how cool is that adding in the pastel pencils oh, we haven't showed the pastel we pencils we have to do it. the pencils truly here's a cool effect with the brown and how it comes through so as you can see we're having a lot of fun here i think we'll do a little quick demo with how the pencils act on the surface so we have the graphic graphite from pencil. generals or trusty 
little pencil here. I loved shading on these tiles. It's really awesome. It was like butter. <sighs> And it just spreads so nicely. And it kind of goes as far as you want it to go. You can get that nice sharp edge, but you can kind of keep fading it. So it is nice. We also found like you could sort of just play like if you had graphite on your tortillon and you just wanted something, you know, light, just using the tortillon by itself worked nicely as well. So I didn't even add new pencil to that. So that's like a way to just get a really kind of subtle cloudy look too. And then of course we have the colored pastel chalk pencils from Generals. We use these in project pack number 18. So there's depth, there's 10 lessons there. Right. If you're looking to really jump into this, but we explore a lot of these materials um, and these pencils were great to work with. Oh, uh, look at that like subtle hue two of them in there. So that's really fun. And then of course the white is an oldie but goodie. So that's another one to like just play around with. And, you know, it sort of adds to the frostiness of, so it's almost, you can play around with it looking like part of the, the surface of the paper, you know, so it just brings a little bit more white on top of that already frosted pa paper look. So that's kind of cool. So so much fun stuff. And I don't know if we mentioned earlier, the one thing we found that like is probably not a great match for these tiles is a lot of water. So yeah. like mm -hmm. sometimes people like with the cotton tiles, you can like put down the watercolor pencils and we will drop heavy amounts of water mm -hmm. on it. We found the water didn't, wasn't a great match for them, but we ex kind of encourage you to try it, it yeah. too if you want to. So explore, you know, try all different things. Be okay with being uncomfortable with this new surface. I always say though, like we're telling you to explore and try new things, but the first time you pick up one of these tiles, maybe do something familiar right. to yourself. Like pick up a micron and you know do your favorite tangle or something like that, and do a little shading, see how it behaves. And yeah, and get used to the surface. It, it's much different than what we've been working on before, um, which is very exciting. But just take your time and. Give yourself grace and be okay with... Take things. a deep breath. Yes. Enjoy the process. Breathe. And Turn have, your tile. <laughs> and have fun. Yes. <laughs> Take care. Bye.